Good morning everyone, we are group 2 and we are here to present the first problem on torque, which is the ladder. So our given is, a man is climbing up a ladder who weighs 60 kilograms and the ladder weighs 12 kilograms. The height of the ladder is 5 meters and its perpendicular distance is 3 meters, which means that if this is 5 meters and this is 3 meters, this is 4 meters by 5 by the Pythagorean theorem and then so we have to first we have to look for all the uh, possible um, numbers that we may be able to use in solving so first we have to find the angle here theta so how do we find it let's use tangent so tangent theta is equal to uh, 4 over 3 which is equal to 53 Point thirteen degrees. So angle theta is fifty three point thirteen degrees. So after that, we have to look for the forces acting on the object. So first is the normal force acting between the wall and the ladder. So we we do not we denote that as F W. Next force would be the force pushing the ladder upward, which is the normal force of the ground denoted as F ground and the force of friction pulling it pulling the ladder backward which is F friction so we have to look for the uh, whip or the force pulling these objects downward so first we have to look for the weight of this ladder so since ladder is 12 kilograms and the the ladder is 12 kilograms. Um, wait, that's denoted as W. The ladder is 12 kilograms, and um, the uh, equivalent of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. We just have to round that up into 10 meters per second squared. So, which means the force is equal to 120 newtons. Next would be the force pulling the person climbing downward so the the person is 60 kilograms so uh, weight of ladder and weight of person the person is 60 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared so the weight is equal to 600 newtons so since you already have the forces pulling the object downward and you also have the forces acting on it you can now solve for uh, we can now uh, compute for the or we can now look for the equations that we may be using so first would be the sum of the horizontal forces or sum of the F uh, uh, forces here uh, or the horizontal forces would be equal would be equal to zero which means that this force and this force will be cancelling each other so the normal normal force between the wall and the ladder is negative F the, uh, is positive and the force of friction is negative uh, no which means they are equal. Next would be that the sum of all the vertical forces. So this is 600 newtons, 120 newtons. And the, the force pulling, uh, pushing it upward, which is minus F ground it should mean that 600 n plus 120 is equal to f ground so it means that f ground is equal to 700 new, 720 newtons now we already have to solve for the oh using the uh the concept of torque we'll be solving the forces acting on this uh, object. So, the sum of all torques 
has to be equal to 0. And the formula for torque is the distance or the perpendicular distance R multiplied to F or the force. So, the first First, so uh, the first object that we have to look for the torque with is the this person. So the torque of the person is equal to uh, perpendicular R F. So how do we look for R T uh, or R perpendicular? We have to solve for the this distance from here. This is the pi watt. And the distance that we'll be using would be from here until here. So, since the, per the distance of the person from the ground is 3.5 meters, and we have theta over here, we can solve this distance through uh, cosine. So, RT would be 3.5 cosine, which is 3 degrees, times the force 600 newtons so the answer of that would be 1264 newton meters next would be the torque of the ladder the torque on the ladder so same formula but this time the we will be using the distance from the pivot until the center of the ladder. The perpendicular force from here up to here, a perpendicular distance, I mean. So, since this is halfway through the ladder, that would mean it is 2.5 meters. Cosine 53 degrees times the weight of the ladder, which is 120 newtons. That would be equal to 181 newton meters. Now we have to solve for the torque, the wall. So, which is this? If we look at it that way, the perpendicular distance that we will be using would be this distance. So, that would be the force FW times 5. And since we're doing it this way, or we're using this as the perpendicular distance, that would be sine 53 degrees. So that would be equal to 1. So, oh, wait. So we, since we have no equivalent for FW, uh, we wouldn't be able to solve that yet. So as you can see, we already have these um, equations to be to use so we just go back to the concept that the sum of all torques is equal to zero which means that zero would be equal to one two six four plus one eight one minus this Which would, when you add that up, that would be equal to 1445 minus FW and 5, five sine 50 degrees is 4. So FW4 is equal to 1445 divided by 4. So the normal force of the wall would be equal to 361. 0.25 meters. So aside from all of this, we also have to look for the coefficient of friction. So the formula for the coefficient of friction is F of friction is mu over F net or the sum of all forces. So we have the in this equation the one who the Object will be looking for with the mu or the coefficient of friction. So coefficient of friction is equal to more, uh, net force all over 
course of action. I uh, know that would be, I mean, that would be course of action over net force. That would be equal to 361 over 720. So this, the net force, and 720, this, this, and this. So the coefficient of friction would be equal to 0 0.5. So the important, the important concepts that we have to remember in solving for torques is that the sum of vertical forces should be equal to zero, the sum of all torques is equal to zero, and that in solving for torques, we have to look for the, uh, the torque of all the objects in that situation. That would be all, thank you.